So today it's our job to turn this barren wasteland back into the thriving greenery it once was. And we can start that by going to one corner like this, pointing down a wind turbine so that we can come in with a fertilizer that covers as much of the map as possible with nice fertile soil. And then once we slap down a few more of those and maybe get a wind turbine over here to help with the last one, then we can bring in an irrigation thingy to give us the green earth that our heart desires. Yes, it's very nice. Plus while we're over here, we can set up a water pump so we can start irrigating some of the rivers. There's two weird little high ground things here. So I got to pick one and I pick this one and that should handle everything very good. Look at it go. And we can also fill this out with one of these. And this is just one corner of the map. We have a lot of work to do here. So yeah, the game is Terra Nil. It comes out March 28th and the devs were kind enough to send me an early key. There's also a lot more of these high up riverbeds that we can use to our advantage by putting down wind turbines next to all of them. And this one over here. And now a water pump goes in, starts filling in the river so satisfyingly, reaching almost all the way to the end of the map, but that's okay. And now this one comes in over here, just so we have more options for expanding the river because we're probably going to need to, especially up here in this blank area. And then also one more right up here should help us do that very nicely. It doesn't add too much, but it's fine because once we start expanding, it definitely will. Speaking of expanding, let's start working on that. So we'll get one of these in right here and then we'll come in with an excavator. So it can punch its way all the way through the dirt right up to the river perfect and now that starts filling in and that pump we put in earlier is very beneficial to us though i guess we're gonna need another one before that let's get another one going across this way it looks like we're about to lose a little bit of grass but that really doesn't matter because it's gonna come back anyway because it's still connected to the river there we go that's looking good and now we can put in a water pump right here i guess or we could actually put one down over here so we can get closer to the edge of the map on that side of the river it's not reaching all the way which is a little bit unfortunate but you know the more the merrier and i'm thinking we're gonna need to do a similar thing over here but we gotta watch our resources so why don't we go ahead and get a little more greenery going. Though I am probably going to need one more excavator going through this way. That's looking pretty ideal, I'd say. So we'll do that. And then once the river fills that in, we can come in over here with a calcifier. And we also have to be really careful about how we place this. But we can place one in right here, which will start giving us more rocks that we can put a wind turbine on. That's looking pretty good. And then we can start getting fertilizers to cover all of this area, as well as up here like this to fill in as many gaps as we can. But there's still going to be a few that get missed as long as we can keep the blank spaces to a minimum and then coming over here with this one our resources are running dangerously low but that's okay because once we get another one of these in like this we can start putting in more irrigators which are going to give us all the big money numbers booyah and we can also get the ground up here with one more of these fertilizers over this way or maybe two so we can get these weird little corners over here uh there's no way really that's ideal for this so we probably won't end up worrying about this little island here that's just going to be excavated island but to fill this in like this and this one in like this so we can start reaching over this way and then once we get another calcifier in over here we can do the whole wind turbine routine to get another fertilizer in over here to cap off this area and then now we can start doing the irrigation over here this one doesn't give us the most return but that's okay because this one should do the job for us so i think i'll place this one here after i get a fertilizer on excavator island after all or at least close enough to it there we go now we can start getting some green going on over there and that'll actually help us with the coverage distribution from this irrigator to this one yeah i like that there are a few blank spots but you know it's whatever but my resources are still low so i need to start getting a lot more green in here and this looks like a good spot to do that so our resources are still kind of low which means i need to get more grass going on in these harder to reach places so i'll get one right there and then i could get another one over here but that seems kind of wasteful so what i'll need to do is get another calcifier in here so that i can get another wind turbine over here here to get this very edge corner like so. All right, I need some quick money. So I'm going to put one down right here. It's not ideal at all, but I'm running really short on funds. But at least I can get some coverage up here. And then another one right over here just before I go broke and put in another irrigation thingy right here. I'm really not liking how this is turning out, but I need some funds. I'm still getting positive income by putting one right here. Ooh, and a little more right there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. Starting to get a little bit uh, behind schedule on placement, but we're still in it. And then we get a windmill going on down here so we can start covering this corner. And can I afford another one? I don't think so. Gonna have to be very careful about this, but I get one down there and then one up here. It's looking not too bad. I think that's the best one for that. And then some more irrigation like this. There we go. More income over there. And get a few more 
fertilizers over here. This placement is getting really precarious. I'm sure I'm making a lot of choices that are upsetting a lot of you, but this is what I have to do. That's looking good. Just taking this very slow and careful right now. We're almost to our goal of getting, you know, 100% of this. But there's also this entire area that we haven't touched. So is it time to get an excavator through there? That's really not ideal at all. But at least we can place down a few more fertilizers to get even more coverage out this direction. Which has given us a lot of things that I am happy about. And then we come in with an irrigation. It's really weird that this is giving me more money than anything else. Uh, ooh, that's giving me a lot right there. Okay, I can do that. And then I'll put another one. Ooh! We reached our goal. Hey, new things. So now we can work on the diversity of the plants, which is fine after I get a little more money like that. But it still would be nice to work on this area down here. So I think what I can do is get a wind turbine there and a water pump there. Okay, and then we get a fertilizer right here and maybe just one more here so we can get that little corner there. Maybe not. Let's put down a windmill right here and we can get a fertilizer going on this corner. And once we put down an irrigation thingy right about here we'll get a little more money back we missed a bit over here but that's okay because we're gonna get another fertilizer right here i just couldn't afford it initially and now another irrigation can come in right about there okay that's that's looking like good coverage more or less and i still am not entirely sure what to do about this area up here so i got a little bit of funds so if we put down an excavator right here for now it'll bite into the grass a little bit oh that hurts but we have to do it and then use the wind turbine that's still here to start fertilizing this ground all right i think i've done as much as i can right now with putting down new green stuff because i'm still running really low on funds and there's still this whole area over here but what we can do to get more funds is actually put down some of this environmental stuff so let's see we need a healthy balance out of all of these and we need finbos huh? that's a weird name for flowers but that's what beehives are for that we can just slap into a tree this one isn't doing anything over here so we can do this there we go and that gives us a lot of money Ooh, and we already unlocked the next thing a solar amplifier which we can use for the starting of a controlled burn eventually yeah we gotta do that and i'll put down one more thing before resuming work over here now we need to make some marshland so where's a good spot for that right here hmm it's okay that one's kind of all right this one will give us the most which really isn't too bad i can get away with that yes nice little marshland here look at this and now we have a lot of fun so let's resume work over here so we need a calcifier we kind of need to continue expanding this way so a calcifier can go in right over here i think calcifier going right there wind turbine going right here and that'll get us to reach the very edge of the map this way but we can also close in gaps over here with one like this and another one like this one down here like this and another one over here so now this is nice and fertile for more irrigation that is what i like to see how about a little more yes much more green i am much happier with that so now back over here Hmm. We use this to start a fire with onto this stuff here. So we really could turn a lot of this into this ashy nutrient tile that we need. That seems like it hurt really badly though because that's such a large area and that might be more than 100 i can't exactly measure it but if we were going to do it anywhere i think it would be here so let's place this guy up here out of the way or we could do it down here as long as it can reach the flowers yeah i think that's pretty good we're only going to use this thing once so we can start a fire like that oh that burns so nicely and we lose that building and this building that we just put down all of this but that's all of the ashy nutrient tiles that we needed Good. And then we can put in an arboretum or a few so we can start developing a forest. That works so nicely. I love it. I need to get another one up here so that can go there. And then this one should... Yeah, that's all the forest we need. Excellent. Forests are done by 10% extra. I'm fine with that. And we can also get a lot more hydro whatnots in here. So really, it seems like no matter where I put these, I'm going to be getting some resources back, which is good. So why don't we just expand this marsh here? We need 19 more wetland tiles. So we can get one right here, I think. Or down here is better. This one gives us more. Let's do that. Plus, we can have some fun with these little islands here. I actually really like that. And now we have research centers, which will reduce the cost of buildings and unlock the ability to manipulate climate. Because that's the next step. But we also need a lot more flowers. Thankfully, that's what trees are for. And we can get really good coverage over here. So let's do that. Very nice. So if we get one more over here like this, and then another one here like this, I'll finish that off. Oh, we still need a little bit more 
wetland. <laughs> I'm looking for the place's last wetland thing, and this one gives exactly one Bruh. resource back. I didn't think I'd see that, but this one gives us the most, so that's where the wetland will go. Perfect. So now the next step is plant life and climate reestablished. Of course it is. I definitely adjusted the climate like the book is telling me to. Yeah. Wait a minute. Final step is to construct an airship for recycling the buildings. Okay, da da da. Introduce fauna. Sure. So now we're just working on cleaning up the space. I guess we don't need to adjust the climate after all. So we just need enough space to put down this uh, airship lander thing. Thankfully, there's an empty spot perfectly right here where there is pretty much nothing growing. Though to be fair, we probably could put this down anywhere. But I like this barren area being where we build the airship. So we'll do that. And now we need to start putting in some collection silos to get as many buildings as we can. So we'll cover all of these buildings down here, right? Like this. Very nice. And then, and then all these buildings down here. I like how much area we can cover with these. And it's clearing up the ground very nicely. Ooh, and now we can start to build a boat. Travels along rivers to collect recycled material from loading docks. Let's get this little guy started right over here in this single square because I think that's funny. Oh, look at that. It's a little boat ready to do some work. And we get some two new buildings out of it. A loading dock and a pound lock. Oh, okay. So the loading dock will collect buildings as well. So that means we just need to place it in range to collect that recycler. Yeah. And the best part is we don't even have to go up the waterfall for this one. Though there are buildings deep in the forest here. So as long as we can reach those, let's see. This one will collect the buildings over here. So we don't need to worry about this one per se. I'm guessing we also have to pick up all the burn stuff that we put in here so that's that's something we can do so this recycler can go in right here looks the best and then it'll collect all of those the loading dock will collect all of these and once we put that in yeah the boat is moving look at him go driving all the way through the marshlands all the way up to the loading dock and then he collects all those things perfect and we really can save on cost of the recycling center as long as we put down enough loading docks yeah look at all this that we can get can we get that fertilizer down there oh we can but we lose that wind turbine i'll collect as much as I can without needing to go up a waterfall. So this little boat is just going to be making a lot of back and forth trips. But that works so good. And I think we can be pretty liberal about how many of these loading docks we place because they always give back resources. And then some more things like that. And another one over here. As long as the boat can get to it, it should be fine. And oh, we need just a little more to get to those. That's okay. We'll come back here, put down a very temporary water pump just so we can set up a loading dock to collect all of this. That should work pretty good. Very nice. Another one right up here that it can collect on the way back. And how much can it reach over here? Oh, it can reach all of them. Perfect. Just get right up in there with the loading dock. And this one too, so we don't need these out. So I guess it's just gonna make back and forth trips between all the loading docks one at a time. That's no problem. But we are gonna need to put in one of those pound locks here so the boat can get up here. Can it? Oh, that's blocking it, isn't it? Actually, we don't even need to do that because we just put in a recycler like this right up to the edge of that so it can gather all of these things. I kind of forgot about the recycler because I'm having so much fun with the loading docks. And I'm also gonna need another recycler to get these things. All of this doodads go away. A loading dock will collect all of these recyclers. We can actually cover a lot of ground with this. Just planted it right in the middle of the canyon and then all of this goes away. Oh, Oh, that's so good. And we get so many resources back. We're over 2,000 now. Not even sure how much we need it for. Also, what is this? An animal observatory You allows sonar ping to encourage animal species to move in. And I guess this recycler is needed to pick up all the burnt stuff. So we'll get that in here like so. And I think that's all the burnt stuff. That might be one right there. I can't remember where stuff was. Okay, so we cleared up the entire forest. That's good. Loading dock go right there. And then I think one more loading dock will gather everything, right? There's nothing down here. Nothing over here. So if we just place this correctly, okay, maybe not. We'll need a recycler to get that thingy over there. But then we can gather all of this. And that should be everything. Our little bot's just gonna keep going and going and going. And 98%? What's left? That's it. We're at 100. Drive it on right back to the boat, to the airship, which is looking very nice, by the way. Nothing's happening. We might need to do those other things after all. I'm starting to think that we missed out on some things. Because this is at 100 and nothing's happening. Even though we kinda need this. Maybe I'm missing something with the uh, sonar ping. So we'll get you in right there. And oh, there we can scan for things. So we did that. Hey, we got some deer. Very cool. Let's use this again. Can I? Can I please? Oh, yes, I can. And then I should be able to... Okay, I can choose what I scan for. Lives in a forest which contains a beehive.
even is on a hill. I don't think I have any of that, but I can scan for life over here because it needs a river near a forest. Yeah, there's a beaver. Okay, one more, one more. Prowls in a forest near a source of prey. Eh, uh, rest in a large lake. I don't exactly have lakes, but what I can do is scan for a little amphibian, which lives in the reeds of a wetland near a finbos field, which is exactly over here. There it is, there's a frog. Look at him go. He's having a great time. Okay, so that's three out of three. So once we clean this up, oh, oh, we can lift off. I think that's what that means. Yes, we're out of here. We did it, we're done. We have successfully restored a wasteland. So this little guy should, oh, oh no, you're leaving the boat behind. Why would you do that? He worked so hard and he's just gonna stay here. Oh, uh, I guess this is a better place for him to be. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Of course you take the boat with you. Why would you think? Why would I think you left it behind? And hey, you restored the grass around there, so that's good. Wasteland reclaimed. We did it. This is looking beautiful over here. And I'm pretty sure that the rest of this will grow back in time, even though we might have uh, skipped out on the climate. But the game doesn't seem to care because we have deer now. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video of Terra Nil. It comes out on Steam March 28th, so you can pick it up then. And thank you for watching. Sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Dakota C, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Donomoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.